Hello, people. Welcome to the Dark Farms Academy and also Ken Biba. I just want to say thank you for always being here and uh, supporting this family or supporting this channel. And I know always when you come here, you enjoy what we have for you. And today, too, I have this topic. I know you've seen it already that we're going to discuss about how you deal with Newcastle when it hits your farm. I've always been wanting to teach about this disease but i don't want to come here just spill out uh symptoms that 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 but how is it going to benefit you how you can put it in a very practical way and that's what i want to teach uh, i want to talk about it today so end of the day how you can deal with it very uh, effectively and it will help you so now let's go into it when it's a new castle i'm not going to talk about the disease there, there was a name what caused it whatever no 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 not too much that uh, what how you can deal with it so now the newcastle itself is a viral disease we all know why am i saying why am i saying why do i want you to know it's a viral disease because when viral disease hits your farm it's very hard or it's very difficult to control it right away and it causes a lot of mortality when i say mortality a lot a lot of death so the thing is that when you get a uh, newcastle in your farm Things that comes over it is one mortality. It can hit all the way to hundred percent. It can lose all the whole bears. Two, it's about production really decrease to very low numbers. Now, these are some of the things you're gonna encounter in your farm. And I know maybe you are going through, and you want to know, or if you have not gone through, you want to, you want to know it before you go through. That's why you are here listening to this video. So now, let's talk about it. If you have been hit by Newcastle, what do you do? First of all. When you see your bears are dying, three, two, four, three, two, four, that about, let it be a signal to you. Let it be a very big signal to you that it is about 100% or about, let's say 80% is going to be like a viral disease. And most of the viral disease, Newcastle will be the number one. So when that happens, the first thing that you need to do is separate the bears that are becoming weak from the best which are active so the first one you need to do or the first one that you need to do is to separate the best that are becoming weak because that means they are affected you don't want to treat them all of them the same in the same cage you want to still continue spreading the disease so if you go and you see five six of them that's very dark sitting there take all of them out and put them in a different or in a separate room or in a separate a separate coop so that is the first thing. Otherwise, when you leave them for a maximum of three days, you will see like most of the beds will be separate, uh, will be affected. So as soon as you see one, two, three, being very dom uh, dominant or uh, being very dark, sitting somewhere, take them out right away. So that is the first thing how you can control the uh, the Newcastle. Now, the second one, let's say you do not see it. There has been an outbreak in the farm. What most farmers do, and I don't encourage it at all, 100%, don't right away va vaccinate the bears. Because most veterinarians come to the farm and the first thing that they want to do is to vaccinate the bears. No, you don't vaccinate bears which are sick. That will be deadly. Because most of the vaccines are live vaccines. When you talk about live vaccines, it's like the, the, the vaccines or the virus are not so that you are introducing to the system for the system to be get used to so if the bears are already dead they have been affected it's going to trigger it because the whole thing is that you are giving them some dosage that it will not be able to control them or that will not get them sick so the second point is don't vaccinate the bears which are sick as soon as you get an outbreak don't vaccinate the bears so the next thing that you need to do or you have to do is to put the best on strong antibiotics. I know people go straight away to put them on antibiotic vitamins, which is good, but at times some of them have vitamins, so you don't get the strong antibiotics. The antibiotics is not to kill the, uh, the, the, the Newcastle, no, but it's to uh, stop any secondary diseases that will affect the best. So if you have separated the ones that are weak already, and you are trying to protect the ones that are there, then you do so by giving them 
antibiotics. I know don't be putting your best every time on antibiotics, that's not good. But this is what you are using to treat antibiotics. Uh, to treat the new, uh, what is the name, the secondary conditions of Newcastle. And when you talk about the, new, uh, the antibiotics, there are so many antibiotics over there. But when you are buying them, they have the, uh, the neumycin, tyrosine. So there are some antibiotics. When you take them, they have so many broad spectrum, about three or five chemicals being put together. As I said, neumycin, tyrosine, uh, uh, tetrate, there is a there are a lot of them. So you don't buy only one an antibiotic, which is maybe, or a bought antibiotic, and you see the only one is maybe neumycin, no, or tyrosine, no. You buy the one that have a very broad spectrum that when you read on the composition of that, uh, that antibiotic, you see that they combine a lot of antibiotics together to get a strong one. So it's like neumycin, uh, tyrosine, tetrate, all those kind of uh, same thing with them so that we can get a very broad spectrum. I don't want to mention any name like uh, Go buy this one go buy this one because if you understand how medication works You don't need to know only one medication like this one. No, just get the composition of what is in it So when you take the medication, you know, I want antibiotics which have maybe neumycin, tyrosine, tetrate and all this so that you know that medication, it doesn't matter the name or the brand, it has that kind of things in it. And so after that, what do you do the next one? <clears throat> what you do is that you spray the whole farm or you spray the whole cage that the best are. Because this is a viral disease. So when they get outside, they can live outside for a longer time. But mind you, uh, Newcastle is a disease that the best can live with under, some temp uh, under a certain temperature for a long time. So it's not like as soon as they come out, like a normal virus, they die. No, they can be hidden at a place for a longer time. So what you do is that you spray the whole environment with whether some of the disinfectants, quinine, homicide, danasin, all that kind of the what is the name? The one with the uh, the chlorite in it, all the medications with the chlorite. That you spray the you spray the whole farm so that you kind of control any uh, any likelihood of break out again so you control the whole disease or you control the whole virus in the place so the next one or the third one is to spray the whole place so that you cannot prevent any secondary or you prevent it from spreading after that what do you do now after that you make sure you put the best back on vitamins all this i'm saying is not a weak place because even the antibiotics alone can take like five days and they are on it so it's not like one week or three days then, no. So if you buy the antibiotics, how many days do you have to put up them on? The same time, you can be spraying the uh, the farms and making sure everything is right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is also part of it. So after you've sprayed the whole farm, the next one, as I said, is giving them vitamins. What are you doing with the vitamins? To support the best with energy. That's what I'm saying. Some people will shoot the first one with antibiotic vitamins but if you don't take care you will not get the vitamin a the antibiotic which is so strong and still the best will be having disease in them that either Belgium medication Holland Ghana Africa anywhere but you need a strong antibiotics but if you're going to get a time people to do by they combine two medications together get a prime vitamin get a another strong antibiotics and you combine them so that you get a strong medication that can also help the best at times, one at, at a time. Uh, instead of maybe doing this one and after that, going to do the other one. So after giving them the vitamins, then if you know they are strong enough and the death rate has really come down like 0%, 1 or 0, then you vaccinate the best. Then you can go ahead. But even if you don't want to vaccinate them, then you can continue maybe get put them on a program or a channel like every three every one month every two months i'm gonna give them maybe this kind of lasuta or this kind of anti uh, or is the name vitamins to support them all this kind of this thing so that is important and with all this thing that we are saying the number one thing that caused this uh, uh newcastle disease is about biosecurity if your biosecurity is not strong you're gonna be hit so people i know all of us fall short of that but let's work on our bio 
security. Excuse me. Let's work on our biosecurity so that you will prevent our fans from hitting from that. And after that, if you've done this, you spray the farm, you're giving vitamins, and the egg is not coming because after all that, you may see that the egg is stuck. That's why I think it's very, very tough. So what you do is that add some vitamin to the feed continuously so that instead of maybe giving the water, which is like only, only three days or something, four days, and some of the best will drink, some won't drink, but the feed, all of, no matter what, some will eat the feed, or about 90% of them will eat the feed. So continue adding some of the vitamins to Prime vitamins to best doesn't harm them. Antibiotics is the one that is not good. But just prime vitamins, add them to their feed as you also maybe give them some in the water. And gradually, the eggs will come up. Don't expect the eggs to be coming up within like right away, the next three days will be coming up because maybe even the embryo, uh, the ovaries in their system is being uh, burned. So they have to start developing it. So at times you give them time to develop the eggs. So these are some of the things that you do to control Newcastle in your farm. So biosecurity is important. If they hit the farm, they make a separation. As a separation, spray the whole farm. After you spray the whole farm, then at the same time, put them on strong, the word I use is strong, strong antibiotics or strong antibiotic with vitamins. Maybe two medications, you combine them. One pre vitamin, one another strong uh, antibiotics. And you combine two medications together and you do it. But do it with a very safer way and know what you are doing so that you give to the best and you come back to normal. And if so, the egg is not coming, add some to their feed, the vitamins, and also as you give them in the drink to build them. And at the time of Newcastle, Newcastle, let me say this to you too. At the time of Newcastle, don't be giving the medication that every time you give, every day you use every time one medication, every time one medication is not going to make anything. Because the best system is already used to give a different medication. If you are giving this antibiotics or this vitamin, then use different ones so that you will get a very effective in them. People, this is the way I want to tackle now this disease and control it so that we can help learn out of it. The Newcastle, the Coxie, all that. Rather than coming to, uh, teaching here, all oh, this how you prevent it. Biosecurity, put your water here. It doesn't make anything. But I want to teach you, if you have been hit by it, how you can control it. And if the production is down, how you bring the production up. It's very tough when the production goes down with in CRD, in CRD with the Newcastle, but gradually it's going to come up by six times, maybe a month or a month and something to come up. Uh, so people, as I said, if you today is your first time on the page and this is very beneficial to you, then subscribe, share, and like the page, and let's continue to build our family together. If you need a day with chicks or if you need a pottery feed, just get in touch, and we will supply you with chicks and also feed. Uh, till we meet next time, as they chase your dreams and money will follow you. Peace. Shalom.